A steady rain greeted students at Arlington High School on day one of the new school year. It was the very same at all Arlington Public Schools like here at the Thompson School, which also doubled as a polling place for this year's primary election. This is year number three now of students entering the classroom with COVID very much on everyone's mind. But school leaders say things will be a little different this year. According to the Arlington Public School website, this year the focus will be on symptomatic individuals. The Commonwealth is not recommending universal mass requirements, surveillance testing of asymptomatic individuals, or contact tracing in schools so far this year. Instead, the APS plan will include things like symptomatic on-site testing performed by qualified trained health office staff for students who become ill during the school day. Those who are symptomatic can remain at school if they have mild symptoms and then test negative. Individuals will wear a mask if possible until symptoms are fully resolved. The state recommends a second test within 48 hours if the initial test is negative. Families are asked to test students at home if they become symptomatic outside of the school day. Test kits will not be distributed by APS and rapid antigen testing is preferred in most situations. ACMI News reached out to Arlington School Superintendent Dr. Elizabeth Holman on August the 22nd, Monday, and she replied back by email the very same day. This is what she said. We will be following protocols as articulated by the State Department of Elementary and Secondary Education in collaboration with the Mass Department of Public Health, which do not require masking at our schools. We are currently working with the Arlington Health Department on our protocols and recommendations for the upcoming school year, and those will be published to families late this week or early next week. We will continue mitigation strategies tied to adequate ventilation and will, of course, respect the decisions of families or individuals to mask as they wish. Still, nearly three years into this pandemic, we've learned that even the experts can predict the trajectory of this worldwide virus and that this fall and winter seasons are still great unknowns. And Arlington school leaders say they will be monitoring and if need be, adapting to any changes that may come down the pike.